Hi guys, this is Nea and today we're gonna make a simple pinball tutorial. We're gonna make a pinball machine that's gonna have two flippers or pedals or however you wanna call it, a plunger, a drain, some obstacles, some scoring elements and then we're gonna make the UI and the menu. So in this part we're just making the simple setup. We're gonna make a table with the bounce and the corner bounce and the ball prefab. So let's create a new project. I'm gonna call it pinball tutorial and make sure it's 3D create project so now we have our empty scene let's right click on the hierarchy and create a new 3D object called the plane Make sure the transform position is 0, 0, 0 and the scale will do the scale right now. So, rotate the camera so the <coughs> blue arrow is pointing forward and on the X axis we're gonna set it to 0 0.56 on the Z axis 1.31 OK, so rename this to table and we're gonna save save the scene I'm gonna call it pinball scene it doesn't really matter okay so now we're gonna create the ball prefab right click on the hierarchy select 3d object sphere reset its transform position and pull it up a little so we can see it now we're gonna rescale it 0 0.27 on every axis Z. Okay, and now zoom in on the ball a little. Now we're gonna make a new material, create, right click on the project view, create material, I'm gonna call this ball material, and set the color to a little more grayish looking or whatever fits you, doesn't matter, and drag and drop this to the sphere now I'm gonna rename the sphere to ball prefab okay so now we're gonna play around with the material a little bit uh, I'm gonna set the metallic value to somewhere around here let's say 0 0.8 and the smoothness to right about here I'm happy with that 0 0.86 okay so now let's save the scene okay so now we're gonna make the table bounce so the ball doesn't fall off okay so again right click in the hierarchy 3d object select cube reset its transform position so it's gonna be a little too tall so on the y axis on the scale 0 0.05 and on the Z axis 0.1 okay so now the scale of the X is gonna be 5.6 so it's all across the table and we're gonna set the position of the Z to 6 6.5 I think okay yeah this looks okay so we need to make the other bounce let's rename this to bound top okay so let's make the left and the right bound again right click create 3d object cube reset its transform position so now so now we're gonna make the left and the right bound I'm gonna call this left bound and I'm gonna set the X position to minus 2.8 I'm gonna scale it down a little so it's 0.1 on the X axis and on the Z axis it's gonna be 13 I think 
so it fits across the whole table 13.1 okay and on the y-axis the scale is gonna be 0 0.5 so it's not too tall again so let's duplicate this hold control on PC and D and now we got another bound I'm gonna call it right bound of course you don't need to rename them it's just uh, it's easier if you do so everything remains the same except the X position we're gonna set it to 2.8 okay so now we're gonna make the bottom bounce so let's create another 3d object cube reset the transform position and on the Z axis the position is gonna be minus six and a half uh, half yeah and the scale value of the Z position is gonna be 0 0.1 again the X the Y scale is gonna be 0 0.5 and the X scale is gonna be a little less than half of this so we can make the drain so if this is 5.6 we're gonna make it let's say 2.5 or this might still be a little too big let's set it to 2.3 the X position is to 1.8 I think something like that is it sticking out yes it's sticking out a little let's try one 1.6 1 1.65 I 1.68 okay so this should do for this tutorial it doesn't really matter so let's rename this first to bottom bound left oh I'm sorry this is the right one right bound bound right and let's duplicate this and set the X position to minus 1.68 okay so the symmetry is very important in pinball you probably know that so okay this is our simple table it's very simple for now we're gonna change it a little bit later on but uh, this is just for testing purposes for now so let's save the scene uh, second we're gonna make the corner bounce so again okay rename this first to bottom bound left okay and now we're gonna make the corner bounce so create again I'm gonna use a cube you can use whatever fits you I'm gonna reset the transform position so the corner bound should be somewhere like 2.5 I think okay and we're gonna rotate it a little on the y-axis so it bounces the ball like this 45 degrees okay so now we set the position that's a little less than six and a half let's see six it sticks out a little bit let's say six points what six points two okay so we're gonna rescale it a little on the y-axis is gonna be 0 0.5 like all the others on the z-axis is gonna be 0 0.1 and I think <coughs> I'm sorry this could work for now we're gonna rescale it a little bit later it could be a little smaller but nothing nothing very critical so this is the top corner bound again you don't need to rename this if you don't want to uh, but I'm just doing this for tutorial purposes 
So duplicate this. So we get our left bound here. And all we need to do set the X position to minus 2.5 and rotation to minus 45 degrees. Okay. So this is our left corner bound and the bottom bounds are going to be a bit different because this is angled by 45 degrees and the bottom bound needs to be angled and scaled so it drives the ball into the drain. So let's make the bottom bounce again, make a cube, reset the position. So the X position, let's make the left one first, bottom corner bound. I'm going to set the name first. Yeah. So I think it's going to be somewhere around minus 1.5. Or somewhere in the middle okay so the Z position is gonna be somewhere around minus 6 and we're gonna rotate it on the Y scale at about 20 degrees or so I think okay so let's rescale it uh, 0 0.5 on the Y axis uh, 0.5 on the Y axis I'm sorry and uh, on the z-axis I'm gonna set it to 0.1 okay so now the scale should be a little uh, longer uh, I think 2.5 should do it but it's sticking out a little bit so I'm gonna push it up a little push it down a little so there the x is i'm gonna set it to minus 1.7 i like to keep the numbers as round as possible okay so this looks like it could work we can rescale it later uh, and uh, i'm gonna duplicate this and set the x position to 1.7 and the rotation to minus 20 okay so this is our bottom corner bound right and this is the left one okay so now we got our table it doesn't look like much but it's gonna fit this tutorial all right uh, let's select the ball prefab now we need to add a critical component it's called yeah rigid body and set the mass to 0 0.08 I'm gonna set the angular drag to 0 you can play around with these numbers later uh, and collision detection should be on continuous dynamic okay so I'm gonna save this I'm gonna make a prefabs folder in the assets folder prefabs and I'm gonna select this ball prefab and just drag and drop it into that folder okay so now we got our ball prefab so we can spawn it later and save scene <coughs> good this is our ball prefab and our table setup um, I think it doesn't look perfect but this is it for part one on part two we're gonna start making the plungers I mean the pedals I'm sorry we're gonna make the pedals the most critical part Okay, so thanks for watching.